All right, here we go. We got the Mac Tools Flyer, number five. And this is going to be April 19th to May 16th, 2021. All right, right off the bat, looks like we got an impact driver. Uh, it's a Mac Tools impact driver. All right, let's get into this thing. All right. So right off the bat here, we got a nice crimper tool. Funny thing that we have this here, because I just had to have mine warrantied. Big, long ordeal with Snap-on. I had some Blue Point crimper, wire crimper tools just like this. And uh, I've had them for like, I don't know, 16 years. I bought them when I first started. And um, uh, and they, the opening here has kind of opened up quite a bit. And I, I was looking at a brand new pair of Snap-on and they were real close together and I could just see how worn out mine were. And so I wanted to get them warrantied. And for, I don't know, five or six weeks, every time he kept coming in, oh, they're on back order, they're on back order. And then finally, when I was about to say, dude, then switch them out for a Snap-on pair, he offered to do it. And then he had just sold his Snap-on pair. So I had to wait for another week to get them. So anyway, it's funny that this is in here. But if you buy this for 80 bucks, you get these for free. So this is a cutter and a crimper. This is a wire. This is a double crimper. And this is just a straight crimper. Oh, this is, okay, insulated and non-insulated wire crimper. All right. So anyways, you get another pair for free. So for 80 bucks, probably, they probably cost 80 bucks anyways. So, so there's that. All right, looks like we got a, a 20 volt max polisher bundle. All right, so not real big into that stuff, and I don't do that kind of work, so I'm not even going to go over that. But it looks like it's about 590 bucks for a variable speed random orbit polisher kit, and that includes a polisher, batteries, a back and plate, slide handle, and then you get a 20 volt max polisher sander tool only i don't know anyways all right there's that okay so then over here we got power tools and uh bits and sockets bundle all right so with this one here looks like you get for 529 bucks you get a bundle and here's what you get you get a 12 volt max 3H drive brushless drill driver kit. Looks like a drill driver and a charger. Maybe that's a battery and a charger. So it looks like it includes a drill driver, a battery, and one charger. And then it looks like you also get a 12 volt max quarter drive brushless impact wrench. So it looks like maybe that's the deal there, but it doesn't look like you get a, uh, let's see, you get a, motor yeah it doesn't look like you get another battery oh you oh you get two batteries okay so this so this kit gives you two batteries one charger and two tools all right and then it looks like you also get you also get this uh drill it's a quarter drive quick connect check quarter drive adapter countersink bits, slotted bits, star bits, hex bits, fill up bits, and then you get a quarter drive metric intermediate impact socket set. All right, so now here is one thing about this. Pretty cool you get all that, but now here is one thing that I don't like about it, and I'll give you my honest opinion about this. I have quarter drive impact sockets. I upgraded to Snap-on. I had Craftsman for the longest time, and they had a they had a a deal where you bought the the deep sockets and you got the the shallows for free or whatever. Okay, you don't want quarter drive impact sockets at all. You know why? We already lose quarter drive sockets as it is. Now make it a black socket. You're never finding it. I always lose the 10 millimeter. It's funny, it's always the 10, probably because that's the one you use the most. But you lose it, you can't see it, it's black and it's little, I don't recommend it. But anyways, cool kid, if you're looking for a drill driver, I already have all, all my stuff to snap on, so I'm not looking to switch. But if you're into the Mac tools and 
Not sure if it fits the DeWalt. I know my, my coworker has some Mac stuff and his DeWalt batteries fit it, so. All right, so here looks like we got a trailer terminal, a four piece trailer terminal and plug cleaner kit. Uh, let's see, you get this for free when you buy a multi-trailer tester pack. Now, if you work on a lot of trailers and things like that, man, this is a great, I mean, this is a lot of different testers right here. This is definitely all the stuff that you need. I only have one. I think I have this one here. I have one of them. Uh, but anyways, if you work on a lot of this stuff, that's actually not too bad. 165 for that. Uh, and then, then you have a brake force meter, an electric brake force meter with dynamic load simulation and circuit testing. Brake force meter displays real time brake controller output gain and timing. Oh, okay. So that's for testing trailer brakes. Okay. Maybe that's why it has a trailer brake connector. Uh, wow. Okay. If you work on trailer brakes, that's pretty interesting. It's all geared towards trailers. So for 212 bucks. You get that. I don't mess with trailer brakes and I don't really work on many trailers. Uh, wiring, yes, but not trailer brakes. Uh, maybe if I'm doing bearings or, you know, bearing pack or something, but that's about it. All right. So now, these are interesting. So quick silver knives. It's like there's a 3.2 inch blade for 70 bucks. These all look, they're exactly the same. A four inch blade for 75 and a five inch blade for 80. Not too bad, I guess. I'm not into knives, not a big knife person. I have a couple knives, but uh, yeah. So, all right, now we got a trade and upgrade. All right, it's easy to trade in your old tools, trade in your old ratchets and upgrade to this swivel head ratchet bundle. All right, so it looks like you got a bundle. Uh, looks like I'm not sure how many how many you have to trade in But it doesn't really say how many I don't know if you have to trade three So it looks like for two thirty three ninety seven you get all four I mean all three ratchets you get a quarter drive swivel head ratchet You get a three H drive Swivel head ratchet and you get a half inch drive swivel head ratchet Oh, interesting. I don't have a half inch drive. I don't do the swivel head too often. I just recently got a quarter and a three eighths. Um, and uh, I still have to show you about that. I haven't had a chance to show yet. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, it can be a ratchet or it can be like a T handle. Uh, so anyways, so there you go. If you're looking for a bunch of swivel head ratchets, 233 bucks. Uh, Then we got the a utility cart. Uh, I don't think I would recommend that one to anybody. That one looks like 309 bucks for one drawer, one top, and a, a bottom shelf. 310 bucks, and that's what you get. I don't know. Um, it doesn't really seem like a whole lot for a whole, whole lot of not a lot um, for 310 bucks. I mean, I think you can get a, a, a cheaper cart than that for... And, and have more drawers and have more actual storage space than that. I don't know. I, I couldn't put anything in there. Um, and then here, if you're just looking for like a regular cart, 195 bucks. I just bought two cheap ones from uh, Harbor Freight. I think mine were like 30 bucks each or something like that. Um, I think you can get a little bit better of a quality one for a little bit more. But two, 200 bucks, I, I wouldn't recommend buying this unless you just really love having a Mac logo on there. So anyways, that's what's on there. That's in the Mac one, but uh, that's not, not my thing. Uh, if you do a lot of antennas, if you mess with a lot of antennas, it looks like he's got a four-piece antenna net, net socket set for 60 bucks right here. Uh, yeah, it looks like a bunch of yeah, four different, four different uh, antenna nets. I don't know. I have one socket. I maybe maybe have used it once. I usually can get it off with, you know, a pair of pliers. Uh, so, anyways, uh, let's see. What is this? A flanger and punch tool, six millimeter swivel head, max sheet thickness up to eighteen gauge, crimp and punch sheet metal. Oh, okay, all right. There you go. 
if you're doing any sort of body work or anything like that, you know, you're just working with metal. Uh, you can bend the sheet metal. You can punch holes in it. Um, oh, I guess I guess we're in the auto body essentials. So if you read, it, it actually tells you what you're looking for. So uh, here you got a mighty midget panel clamp. Looks like uh, five of those little bad boys for 15 bucks. Uh, double density sanding block for 15 bucks. Got a gray side is soft and pliable for sanding irregular surfaces. And the black side is stiff for faster sanding on curved surfaces. Magnetic spray gun holder, 31 bucks. Large heavy duty magnet holds your paint gun without having to drill holes in your paint booth. Uh, and you got a gravity fed, mini gravity fed uh, spray gun here. Is this thing geared at body? No? Okay, this must be a, a section on body. Uh, so you got this, this uh, spray gun here. So if you're into body work, it uh, looks like 174 bucks for a mini gravity fed uh, spray gun. And if you buy this spray gun here, you get this spray gun cleaning kit for free 22 pieces cleans virtually any spray gun twisted brushes nylon exterior brush stainless needle set with handle precision mini brush set lube applicator set with handle 25 p 25 cc spray gun lube there you go all right and then an air control unit with a regulator here for 150 uh so there's that. All right. So now on to the non-body stuff, into stuff that I'm looking for right here. Now, I like this right here. Right off the bat, I can see this. Uh, I'd have to compare it to, to other stuff, but all right. So it looks like if, okay, so this is all one big kit here. All right. So you're going to buy this guy right here, which is a quarter drive or a quarter inch mini 120 degree air die grinder kind of like that degree that 120 degrees that actually is a Actually is a is a pretty nice angle. It seems like uh, so if you buy that you get a four-piece carbide burr set and uh, Yeah, so that's pretty nice. I have I have that one and a big one like that is it one or two I don't have so that's 225 so that's actually uh, not bad. I like the angle on this. So not sure about the price for this. I'm not in the market for one, so I'm not real sure. Uh, but definitely like this. So if you're looking for this and it's a good deal, then that's that's a good deal to add to it. Uh, so this right here is we're going to trade in your old tools again. And uh, you're going to trade in your old lug nut sockets and upgrade to this wheel protecting impact lug nut socket set. You got an impact, you got an 11 piece wheel protecting set. Now, this actually come in, in handy if you got real nice wheels. Uh, you don't want to mess them up. Uh, so, it looks like we got three quarter, 13 sixteenths, seven eighths, 15 sixteenths, one inch, inch and one sixteenth. And then we got a 17, 19, 21, and three, a three inch and a five inch extension. So, not too bad there. That's 141. Um, I'm not in the market for that, but if you work on a lot of nice vehicles with nice, nice wheels, it's probably a pretty good idea. Because I can tell you many times, I've tried my darndest to not have any sort of a scrape, a scratch, anything. And sometimes little tiny things happen no matter how much you try not to let it happen. All right. So then over here, this is actually, uh, I have almost, okay, so I've talked about this before. It's kind of funny how... Uh, okay, so this has got a few more things than mine, but I have an OTC brand of slide hammer, and mine's very similar, except for I don't have the arms up in the lid. So it looks like maybe I only have this, but I mean, I've got the two different sizes for the hubs. Uh, very similar set. So I don't know what I paid for mine, but I know it wasn't cheap. Probably wasn't $225, uh, but this is if you trade in... Your old slammer hammer and upgrade to this 10 way slammer hammer kit. So I don't know. I have the OTC one, but I'd, I'd have to see what mine comes with. This is 225. 
And how many pieces is this? It's a 10-way slide hammer kit. And this looks like it is a... Uh, does, it, does it say how many pieces? No, it doesn't say how many pieces. It just says it is a... A 10 way, so that gives you 10 different ways to, to turn it to, to grab. All right, so here we go. So I used to have this set right here. Actually, I have this set, uh, a small set like this for 70 bucks, quarter drive, hex, long reach, quick connect bit sets. Um, so there's this set here. They actually make a bigger set, and they're all black and red and green, and they're color-coded. Um, it's actually nicer. I have a set very similar to this. I actually probably think I have this set right behind me because I bought another set and I'm pretty sure I brought that home. Alright, yep, okay. So this is what it looks like in person, 16 pieces. I've had this for a long time. I actually had to use some of these uh, to torque some uh, some intake bolts. Um, we had to get a cup, we had to get some of these long daddies here um, to torque some intake bolts a couple times on a Saturn and a few other things because we just didn't have anything that reached and this was the only thing that reached. It was the only one in the whole shop that had anything that would reach. So this is what it looks like in person. Um, you got, you know, a mid-length, you got long length, uh, I would recommend you get the, the, the larger set from Mac. Um, like I said, I, ha I had this one at work. I took it home. Um, so there's a larger set, and the, all the bits are black with uh, green and, and red and blue um, color coding on there for the different sizes. They have, like, uh, number one, two, and three Phillips and all different sizes on the, on the Torx and all that stuff. So, um, so this is $70. bucks. i am not sure how, the bigger, how much the bigger set is, but the bigger set is better. I would buy the bigger set, so I would probably pass on this one. Um, but that's what it looks like in person. Uh, some bore brushes here, six-piece brass bore brush set. I need some of these, but I need bigger ones for diesel uh, injector holes. Uh, they're just a quarter-inch hex shaft, and you can use a quarter-inch driver. They're just six-piece bore, so it looks like all different sizes. Not a bad set, actually. Um, I need to buy some just to have some because sometimes you just need to get in there and clean out small little holes. Uh, so this is 18 bucks. I don't know that I buy them from Mac. Probably get, you know, similar to, you know, Harbor Freight or something. But the only thing you have to worry about is if you buy cheap stuff like that, then the brush and the bristles tend to fall off real easy. And if that's the case, then the stuff you're cleaning, you're just going to get, you're going to get uh, brush and bristle debris where you don't want it. Um, so... All right, so here we go. I've never seen this before. I'm going to tell you about it, but I'm going, to re I'm going to recommend you don't buy this. So here is a Mac Tools Diagnostic Smoke Machine, the Leak Attack Pro. Uh, so this has got the easy intake included. I'll show you that. Uh, it's got a removable smoke hose, positive, negative pressure gauge. All right, so looks like this is a, a very similar kit. Okay, so... I've always used the the, the Smoke Pro. Um, that's, all, that's the only one I've really used. I've had, almost every shop's had a Smoke Pro. I don't know what the cost is, but it's uh, I'm sure it's comparable, if not cheaper. So you're gonna, it's going to come with the hose to inject smoke. It's going to come with the whole stack of, of yellow block-off um, cups. It's going to come with a Schrader valve tool. And it's going to come with an EVAP service port kit so you can take the Schraders out. Tech tip. If you are going to take out a Schrader valve to smoke test an EVAP system, it is left hand threads, meaning you turn it to the right to loosen it. You turn it to the left to take it, to put it back in. If you turn it to the left, you will break it and you will have to replace that line because that, that port is not serviceable. Left hand threads. Very important. Okay, so this right here, this this is a, it looks like it's, it might be a red line. I'm not sure what brand this is. All right, so I think I did a video about this. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below of the one that I bought. I bought one on Amazon, and the one I bought was only like twenty something. Um, I think Redline makes one. I think it's like a hundred. Uh, basically, what you do is 
So this one here, it's going to be, it's going to be about that big. All right. It's going to be that big around. And on one end, it's going to have two hoses sticking off. One of them is going to have a little, a little gate, a little dial. One of them is going to have a big fat ball. And then the other one is going to have a hole, a hose. All right. And so what you do is you take this end, it's going to start off and it's going to be this big and it will pump up this big and it will fill up an intake tube. So what you do is you stick, you stick it in the intake air tube and you pump it up and you close the valve. It has a valve right here on the ball and you pump this up until it expands all the way and it blocks off your intake air tube. And then you take this other hose that's sitting here and then you put your smoke machine right to that hose and it has a check valve. And then you put smoke to it. And so it pushes smoke right out of this end into the intake system. So that way you don't have to worry about blocking off the throttle body and all that stuff. The only thing you have to block off is the fresh air tube. Uh, so anyways, so I'll put a link in the description for what I recommend for this. Um, but here is Mac Tools version, $1,400. All right. So now this is actually pretty cool right here. I could tell you a million times I needed this tool here. So we have, so if you buy this smoke machine, then you get this easy filler net connector kit. So it looks like a connector. It looks like a filler net kit. It says a fuel, a fuel evap testing has never been simpler with the easy evap, evap universal filler net connector in seconds. In seconds, this versatile adapter creates an airtight seal with any vehicle's evap system, eliminating the need for searching for the evap service port. For capless filler necks, technicians can insert the new capless adapter right there uh, to access the system. Easy evap and is essential tool for late model cars with fuel tank rollover valves. So that's actually pretty pretty cool right there. It doesn't say how much that is. Yeah, I'm not real sure what the cost of this is. That's actually a pretty good tool. I have a, a rubber snap-on um, tool that just folds, it just pulls over the, the filler neck like a rubber cap. And then it has a little a little nipple sticking up and you stick the smoke machine in there. So uh, not too shabby there. All right, let's roll on down. I wish they had a price on that. Uh, let's roll on down here to the Toyota oil filter tool. For $30, you get a heavy-duty Toyota oil filter tool. Suits all Toyota and Lexus models with cartridge-style engine oil filters. Manufactured from heavy-duty chrome vanadium material to withstand loads required to remove frozen oil filter covers. Um, not real sure what brand I have. I'll put a link in the description if I can find mine. Um, I don't know how much I paid for mine. I've had mine for a long time. Mine's always worked just great. 30 bucks though. I mean, I'm sure I paid probably close to 30 bucks. Um, whatever you do, do not buy a cheap version of the Toyota oil filter cap remover, or you will end up having to break off caps and it's a pain. Service riders get mad because now you have to sell a cap and then it just, just creates, and it's always that one car that needed to go today. And now it can't go today. We got to get more time. It's going to cost more money. And so you know how that goes. All right. So here we are in the tool, in the, in the clothing. Uh, Mac Tools has some really cool hats. I love how they have just the logo over here. Uh, they have just the logo over here on the, on the bottom corner. I love that. I love this right here. Um, so big fan of that. A lot of really cool stuff. Some 10 millimeter Bluetooth speaker, uh, they look like little, well, they look like little 10 millimeter sockets. Uh, they're like six inches tall, three and a quarter, three and three quarters wide. So not too bad. It looks like, it looks like, uh, oh, they're together. It looks like, okay, it's two of them together. Um, and then uh, this is the coolest thing of all. I love this. So right here, some 10 millimeter socket shot glasses. I love that right there. That's actually worth it. For the man cave, if you had a man cave, you had a little bar, that's what you need right there. Little socket shot glasses. Uh, looks like a high visibility engine toy. Realistic engine action. Easy to build with realistic toys. Build your own working engine with light and sound features. Over 20 pieces. Batteries included. 30 bucks. That's pretty cool right there. And then it looks like right here. 
You got it. Maybe this little Lego set. It says Midnight Runner Block Set. Over 400 pieces. Yeah, that's a little Lego set. I like that right there. That's kind of cool. I like Legos. I want to get like a nice little Lego set for, for the garage that I put together. Some sort of car thing uh, that I put together. So, all right. So there's that. All right, we're going to roll on past. So some clothes. I like this right here. What, let's see what this says right here. This says, real men smell like diesel. Oh, I need this shirt right here. Oh, that shirt right there. I love that. That's my jam right there. Oh, I like that one. All right. You know, I like to work on the diesels. All right, and then rolling on to the back one here. Uh, you got an AC machine, uh, R134A, and uh, you can be your own boss. Talk about this right here. So if you own the shop, if you whatever, man, you need to look into the 1234YF machine. Those are coming hard. Those, those cars, back to a 2016, they're starting to come. I've seen them in Jeeps and Hondas and everything else. So 2016 is a five-year-old vehicle. It's coming. One, two, three, four, YF. So anyways, all right, again, Mac Tools. Looks like April to May. Pretty cool little thing here. Uh, my favorite standouts are the shot glass, uh, the, the 10 millimeter shot glasses. That's my favorite. So, all right. Well, thanks for checking out the video. I um, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I'll link uh, some of the products I talked about in the description below. Thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. And uh, check me out on Instagram, Nuts and Bolts with Tone. And we'll see you next time. I hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. You get notified of all of my future content. And again, thanks for watching. See you next time.